pitch. Meaning that as you get older, you become more patient and picky in selecting your opportunity. When you hone in on what you want to do, you realize that it takes concentrated effort, not this nervous energy where you're just swinging to hit the ball. Older people and people who mature, which are not always the same, realize that the most of the time in life, you shouldn't buy. Most of the time in life, you shouldn't be making major decisions. What you should be doing is nothing but positioning yourself, disciplining yourself, and preparing okay, to overcome through adaptation. And the secret of your life is always in your daily routine. If you're waiting to do something big to change your life... You have to ask yourself, what are you running from in your daily routine? Because as much as it may be fun to buy a new toy, new car, new RV, new house, it is a temporary high. And just like a drug addict, you will chase that high until you learn not to chase every pitch. Don't swing at every pitch. Don't make every trade. A trader or an investor has learned that you're willing to feel the pain of missing out on some opportunity to develop, develop the habit of waiting for a right opportunity, even if you miss some opportunity. And the message tonight is overcome through adaptation and doing nothing. And not doing nothing through lazy, lethargic, way of life, doing nothing with regards to big, emotional, overstepping decisions. One of the best things you can do when you're in doubt is nothing. When there's no clear option, the best option is nothing. If you adapt, if you're willing to change and move a little bit around, you can overcome the period of waiting. See, one of the greatest compliments I got was from someone that said, Sam, I know you'll figure it out because you know how to adapt. And sometimes I have to remind myself, store up the words of encouragement and remind yourself, encourage yourself. And I remind myself, I said, Sam, how do I overcome this season? Adapt. Adaption is pain. It means that you're going to change up your daily routine a little bit. You're going to change your location a little bit. You're going to move some things around while still maintaining self-care within the change, but to overcome this period until you wait for the right opportunity. This is life, navigating around life. I told you one of the greatest things that came to me from the Lord was to navigate around obstacles instead of being a bulldozer. Because if you're a bulldozer, you're going to cause a lot of damage, okay? You're going to rip up utility lines. You're going to destroy things. It's going to cost a lot more to repair that type of mindset. But when you're a navigator, okay, you're going to get around some potholes without a flat tire. So there's a season for everything. Certainly there's a season you got to push through, bull through. But you don't want to be a bull, okay, in um dollar store. <laughs> yeah, dollar store. So what I want to tell you tonight, guys, the message, the spirit of the Lord came upon me as I wrote down in my phone what message I should, one of the few messages that I had an option to choose from tonight. And one of the things I wrote down in my phone over 24 hours ago, because creative people, you can't depend on being creative when the lights are on. You have to document your creativity. Picky people who don't do shit want you to entertain them every day with the best message ever. Don't worry about that. Be consistent. I've overcome every troll by through consistency. Not every night is a great and wonderful message or fun message. But remember the lazy people who throw fruit at the concert. These people, guys, they're the worst people. You don't care about those people. You only care about the select few that want to improve their life and connect with you. 
Guys, you ain't going to connect with everyone. Don't chase people who don't connect with you. Don't chase people who don't understand you. You'll be chasing your entire life. Learn to encourage yourself. Tonight's word of encouragement. Steph, you're willing to adapt and do nothing until the better, right opportunity comes. You can get through your entire life because there's never a perfect opportunity. And use the gifts you have, your health, your mind. You have to. Do, why do you take care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally so that you can navigate through life? And if you ain't going to do that, guys, you're going to be a slug waiting to be entertained. You want to be entertained through life. Shout out to my girl, or, or, uh, Oreo Mouse. She still watches my channel. I appreciate her. She had a stroke. She keeps busy coloring books, going for a walk. And she's a YouTuber. Very great person. I love you, Oreo Mouse. Don't, don't, guys, don't be upset when I share the testimony. This was her testimony that she shared. It wasn't a testimony that I, I exposed. This was what she said. This was her testimony. I repeat it because there's strength in your testimony. You overcome by the grace of God and through the word of your testimony. You were in foster care. You masturbated in a sock. You're against abortion, but you take naps, you drink, and you do prescription drugs. Share your testimony. Why don't you share your testimony? I know why. Because, guys, that's what will set people free. Everything else will keep people in bondage. And there's a lot of bondage out there, guys. A lot of people buying everything. I can't wait, guys, because I'm telling you, people running out of money, people ran out of stimulus, and the housing market will come down. Guys, the, there will be evictions again. There's already starting. And there will be lower prices again. Inventories creeping up. The psychopaths say, no, no, everything's still going up. Guys, you're looking at the next two weeks instead of the next two years. You have a short-term vision. Go ahead, buy that RV top price. Buy that house top price. Go ahead. Now, don't be like a psychopath. Wait for everything to sell for two cents. It's never going to be that cheap. Cartoon more. Great to see you, brother. Love to. Yeah, three sons. It was about 80 degrees Fahrenheit in South Florida. Three palm trees. So a lot of palm trees. Had the ocean breeze. I want to tell you, this weekend starts the cold weather up north. So hang on, brother. I love you. All my heart, you can do it. Why? Because you adapt, overcome. Cartoon Mark, not only is he creative, but he traces utilities. And I can guarantee you there's been some bulldozers that dug up those utilities because they didn't call. I don't know what the number was. I used to call that number when I was a contractor. 611 dig or something. But I want to tell you this, guys. The book that I recommended since the beginning of my channel, just about Who Moved My Cheese by Dr. Spencer Johnson. It was a book about adapting because that's one of the core foundational things you need. Adapting is being willing to go and make incremental change or sometimes big change in your life, in your daily routine, in your location, in your job, in your circumstance to overcome the obstacle or the season you're in. Doing nothing is applied to buying. I want to tell you guys, I got caught in the algorithm of Home Depot. Guys, Satan lives in aisle three of Home Depot. That's right. Right next to the lock washers. Okay. You go tell Lucifer that you want five quarter inch lock washers. For what? I don't know. Satan busy building a lot of shit. They ain't going, that has nothing to do with self-care. The last time I checked, self-care doesn't need a lock washer. I want to tell you, everyone out there that's got two channel locks within 20 feet of where you're at right now, I want you to repent and say five Our Fathers. And I want you to convert to minimalism. That's right. I want you to say, what am I building? Am I building my best life? You say, inspirational no man, I like to work with my hands. I do know some people do that, and I love them. But I also know a, a person that I used to, I, I also know people who do that and they don't really like to do it. I mean, you know, they like to do it, when they, but I tell you that guys, they're killing themselves. I hate to say it. I mean, come on, you know what you want to do and it, you do like to work with your hands, but you also don't like to go back to Home Depot 20 times. You don't like that the, the thing doesn't fit. You don't like that because you got upset 
and your loved one said, can I help you? And you said, shut the fuck up. I want to tell you, adapt and do nothing. Adapt to life, which is constantly changing. And when it comes to purchases, especially big ones, do nothing until the right opportunity. You say, if I do that, I'll waste my whole life. Well, you're telling me then you got to buy something to make your best life. You're telling me that self-care doesn't keep you busy all day. I reflected on that as one of my last goals is to, you know, retire early. I'm waiting till you see the video I do tomorrow. It's gonna fuck. It's gonna fuck a lot of people up. They're gonna get upset about this. All right. Wait till they see I upload tomorrow. <laughs> I want to tell you. I said to myself, shout out to you, ESP. ESP. I'm gonna murder the upload video tomorrow. ESP. Wait till you see this video tomorrow. Gonna make a lot of people a little tight. That's gonna be funny. That's gonna be good. So. I reflect on, man, if I get to this last season where, again, guys, as long as I can work remote, I'll work. And as long as I'm working with good people, it's all thumbs up. But I always want to have that bag right that if I can retire early when I'm ready. And I said to myself, no matter what the situation, I'm fully financially independent. I, I say to myself, even if I had no task, I could stay busy all day self-care. I could stay busy waking up at five. Going to Starbucks, going to the gym, going for a walk at the beach, okay? Going for lunch, going back to the gym for a second time, like that, going back to the beach, traveling around just a little bit to keep things creative, doing my videos, doing my live feeds, and going to bed. I can stay busy all day, self care. So I don't know how some people are bored. Okay. I know how. Because they're not waking up early. They're not doing anything productive. They're not doing any self-care, exercise, or anything else. They don't have any hobbies that are passions that they're willing to put in work even before they get paid. And all ESP, video tomorrow, if you haven't clicked that notification bell 20 times, believe me, you should, because uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fire tomorrow. Uh, shout out to you, David. What's up, brother? David Lopez. What time does Starbucks open? Depends where you live. Anywhere between 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. in most areas. You say Dunkin' Donuts is open 24-7, guys. So is the all-night gas station, but I'll never drink coffee from Dunkin' Donuts or the all-night gas station, even though I have. Shout out to Cartoon Mark Three Fires. If you think you've downsized enough, you haven't. Why? Because you got storage bins. Denise, what's up, beautiful Denise? Guys, we're so live. We're so consistent. Denise, the beach is key. Time in nature is healing. Plus, you get your eye candy. Well, I want to tell you this. For me, the beach is key for a couple reasons. Number one is the energy. Okay? Because the, the waves, the Atlantic Ocean creates energy. That's why I like the east coast of Florida versus west coast. Number two is the breeze. You get like Marin said, you get those negative ions all in your body, all in your lungs, very healthy. Number two is, okay, there's there's a, a, a spirit in the air that we're living to be loco. We're by the beach. Then number four is there's no doubt you're gonna see a bikini with a wedgie. Okay. And guys, if you're in South Florida, if you're if you're a girl and you're in the guys, there's a lot of guys here that you know they got what they what you want too. Cow, one nine and nine super chat. Life is a gift. Well, sometimes life is a curse. Blessings and good vibes from Michigan. Well, I appreciate your positive attitude. And I thank you, but I also want to acknowledge that sometimes life is a gift and sometimes it's a burden. If you're severely hurt, injured, or going through a very emotional, tough time, you curse God. I have. And when things are good, it's a blessing. And for those who try to remain positive in good and bad times, they try to find something to be thankful for. But if even Job cursed God, if even Jesus questioned God on the cross, then I want you to feel okay if you do the same thing. I don't want you to lose your faith because only because, look, life is, you're going to have less suffering if you at least keep some level of faith. But if you don't do the work, you're going to be delusional. And all of us can be broken, no matter how strong our faith. And it's true, even though wisdom is great, you should seek it. Love is the greatest gift. Shout out to everyone with the compassion. And it's true that Michelle, thank you again, Cal. Michelle is in here too. Michelle, what's up? 
Waves for the win. Waves, hot weather, water, sun, fun, and no state income tax for the win. Shout out to you, Denise, uh, Michelle and Denise. Denise is laughing good. So cartoon marks in here, ESP, David Lopez. Denise, Michelle, Cal, I want to tell everyone watching tonight, 35 people in climbing. Let's go. Let's be consistent, guys. Let's get excited. If you don't get excited about your life, guys, believe me, the lazy sloth is waiting for you to get excited. They're not going to excite you. Remember, the person you're waiting to text you to get you inspired, remember, they're depressed, and they're texting you hoping you'll inspire them. They're sending you the same picture that they had from two years ago. They don't look like that anymore. But they want you to compliment them. And the guy who is texting you a five bullet point text about how he feels. You don't care about that. Even though you want to be kind to him. I've been on both sides. I've had some chicks text me. I said, oh, here we go. Let me reply and be nice. And I've texted some people. They said, I'm sure it's, oh, here we go. I've been both. You've been both. One flying solo. What's up, brother? Let's do this. Shout out to everyone getting a divorce. Why? Because sometimes it's necessary. That's right. Uh, one flying solo. Hey, Sam. Self-care for the win. You got it. Have to stay motivated. You better do it like Kelly Rowland. To wait till you see. Wait till you see my video tomorrow, one flying solo. It's straight elitist talk. Everyone out there. I want you to I want you to be ready for tomorrow's video. One Fly Solo says, have to stay motivated to exercise. Damn right. Outside when it gets cold. I want to tell you this. Nah, nah, nah. This is what I want to tell you. When I was getting my health together, I was exercising in zero below weather with five layers of clothes. And everyone who lived in my communi community can testify. So you're ready to get your life together no matter where you live, no matter where your weather. When you're waiting for the perfect weather, you're the same mindset that's waiting till after the holidays to get in shape. You're waiting the 65 to come to Florida. What you should do is, is, is get a certified mail, go to the post office, get certified mail, and inside that in envelope put, here's my life, and then mail your life in, okay? Because you're wasting 20 years of your life. You say, I'm going to get in shape after the holidays. I'm going to go to Florida when I'm damn near dead and I need two knee replacements. I want to tell you tonight, overcome, adapt, and do something, but don't buy nothing. That's how you get flexibility through liquidity. Return of heaven. Well, may it be done on earth as it is in heaven. Shout out to my conservative accountant. We got some more revenue. One dollar super chat. Shout out to you, Return of Heaven. Shout out to you, Cal. Shout out to everyone out there. Mama Solomon. Everyone out there, you know what it is. Because I'm moving around Florida, guys. I'm in a totally different spot. I'm adapting. Why? Guys, campsites get crowded. And I can adapt, guys. I got no problem. I'll do what I got to do. That's the type of guy I am. Now, what type of guy or girl are you? I don't care. I don't. Guys, I'm not in other people's business. I've become to a place in my life. I'm not, I'm not like in other people's shit. Like, oh my God, they're doing this. And that. I don't care. Because I, I keep busy my entire life trying to get my own shit together. And if you got too much time on your hands, you are, you're watching Judge Judy. You're worried about your daughter. Your daughter ain't worried about you. You're worried about some guy. He ain't worried about you. You worried about some girl. She's totally in a very bad place emotionally. And you trying to impress other people. Most people, guys, they're chasing these real estate prices. They're chasing these cars. They think they're never going to make a car again. They think that God's not making any more land. Keep buying, guys. Keep buying. Okay? Keep buying. That's all I want to tell you. Because I want to tell you right now what you need in life. You need your health. And you need some bare essentials. Everything else is cherry on the top. If you believe that fire emoji, click the thumbs up, share the video. Algorithm of success. 30,000 subs coming, God willing. And when we hit 100K, guys, I'm broadcasting live from Miami with Pitbull and my conservative accountant. Okay. And I'm going to invite the guy, okay, who said my channel peaked out at 15K. Why? Just for fun. Okay. <laughs> Just for fun. Okay. So let's go back to these live comments. Uh, Cartoon Mark. I can't wait till tomorrow. Cartoon Mark. I want to tell you. When you're excited for the video that I'm going to upload tomorrow, 
I want everyone to get their morning coffee. And I want them to get ready for the most consistent YouTuber ever to touch Google server. Okay. And I want you to know that when that video drops tomorrow, you're going to have to call your, your accountant. Okay. And if you're using H&R Block, guys, you better get your money right. Okay. Because H&R Block, okay, guys, that's like a, someone during the year, they, they do lawn care. And for two months out of the year, they do taxes. They're not certified CPA. So I want to tell you tonight, guys, we don't do H&R Block over here, guys. Okay? We do certified CPA accountants. Okay? So I want to tell you, if you're listening to this, then there is a chance that this seed will take root and that you will develop your life through adaptation, through doing nothing with regards to consuming, but doing everything with regards to positioning, self-care, and strengthening your core. How many butt ugly chicks you know talking about they about to strengthen their core, but they forgot self care. They trying to trap the man through their uh through their through their stomach instead of trying to get their emotional health together. And that's why it's going to end in a total disaster. And that's why I'm never going out of business. That's why Aaron's never going out of business. That's why my channel's growing because most people. I ain't listening to none of this until they need it. And then once they need it, they like it for a day and then they go back to their ex to next. And that's why I tell you, thank you, Jesus, for sending me down here to Satan's lair. Because I have come to overcome by the grace of God through the blood of the Lamb, word of my testimony. Now, do I really want to be down here? No. But am I making the most of every opportunity? At best I can. So, a lot of people, guys, not doing much. Let's go back to these live comments. You want to interact, click that blue join button. Okay. Click that subscribe. Okay. Share the video. Overcome the psychopaths by consistency. Because I want to tell you, when you busy self-caring and being consistent, the psychopaths can only hold on so long. Because they try to keep up with you, but they're not taking care of themselves, and they're very irrational, very inconsistent. The sign of an addiction is inconsistency. You know the people, they come to the job like a bat out of hell, and they'll leave the job like a bat out of hell. That's right. When you get a bat come out of hell, this is what you do. Just back up. Let them go right fucking by you. Okay? And you sit there. You be consistent. That bat going to fly right by you. All the big chicks coming in the gym January 1st, and you get upset, you just chill. Why? Because by February 1st, they're going to fly right back to hell. I want to tell you tonight, if you're a Pat Go and you're in Winn-Dixie and Leesburg, I, I passed by Winn-Dixie today, Pat Go, I thought about you. I tell you, only, I only spent $15 today for dinner. I went to Publix. I wasn't by my coconut shrimp spot, but I adapted. Okay. I adapted. It wasn't easy. But I tell you this, guys. I've brought my lunch to work sitting on a spackle bucket in a construction site. And I've sat in a conference room with catered lunch from Panera's. And now I'm a rich elitist eating wherever the fuck I want in South Florida. Doing what I want, when I want. And if you like how that sounds, then you should adapt and buy nothing until you get your bag right, your health right. You should put your earbuds in. You should lace up. You should put your jacket on. Go for a walk. Listen to me. Listen to me. Put me on your phone and go for a walk in your community. Inspire all the people stuck in their house not happy. They look out their window because I want to tell you, when you walk in your community, everyone look out your window. That's the way it is. They're looking out the window. Who's that walking again? Oh, that's Sammy. That's how they should say about you. They should say, oh, who's that walking again? Oh, that's, that's you. I want to tell you one of the best compliments I got. There was a guy. <laughs> I knew his son. His son was smoking weed. I was chill with him. He's young. But the father had pulled over the son. The, the father ain't speak English. And the son was like, Sammy, my father just wanted to pull over. He just wanted to pull over and say to you that he sees you walking every day for a year and he's inspired. He said one day he said he wants to walk like you. That's what he told him. 
And I said, well, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. When you do self-care, there's people watching you you don't even know. But it comes from the motive of you're not trying to do it to make other people inspired. You're doing it to improve yourself. The right motive. There's two reasons you don't have something. The scripture said there's only two reasons you don't have something. Number one is you don't ask. Number two is when you do ask, you ask with the wrong motives. When you ask me to move the closing day two weeks only for the motive so you can get extra money for the Airbnb, the Lord rebuketh you in the name of Jesus. And I do nothing, guys. I said, okay, I'll keep my money right in my pocket. You can do something else. Just like that. Wait till you see the video I'll do tomorrow. I'm going to burn the fiber optics down on this internet. We're going back to these live comments. I see Brandon in here too. Twist the pack, go. You know what it is. All right, let's do it. Uh, if I miss a comment, please type it again. Don't take it as disrespect. Pat, go. Bare feet in the house. You know what it is, Pat. I know you got a foot fetish. David. Are the outdoor events in South Florida in January and February? Yep. The height of snowbird season, tourist season, is January, February, March. However, for the most part, all year round, there's uh, outdoor activities. You know, sometimes in August and September, there's not as many because of that's the height of hurricane season. But January through March, there's every outdoor activity in the world. If you come to Florida and you can't find something to do, I don't know where you're going to go and find something to do, okay? Because there is anything. Yeah, all the people who live in the most destitute part of Florida and they left and they stayed in their house while they lived here. They didn't work. They didn't do anything positive. They didn't try to adapt. See, there's people who live in Florida and they they stayed in their house. They stayed around their family. They didn't take the, do, the new job. They didn't go to a different part of the state. They didn't do anything. And then you know what they did? They moved to a worse area. Their life is worse. They got a bigger house because they're in a shittier area. I want to tell you, never listen to anyone who moved out of Florida with the wrong motives. And the motives was, oh, Florida didn't give me what I wanted instead of them adapting. So you know what they did? They went somewhere, some shitty place that don't take much effort to have a shitty house. And instead of them sweating all year round, now they got their furnace running and they got they got an extra 500 square feet and they're, extra, they're making an extra $5 an hour. Oh yeah, you did a great job. Hey, look, guys, if that's what you want, fine. But you know you're on the wrong damn channel. Okay? So don't come raining on my parade. Okay? Matter of fact, don't come with your cloudy, cold weather on my parade. Because this is this is the tropical zone over here. Okay, This is where we talk about Florida. Okay, This is how we talk about like this. Okay? And if you don't like it, I, I don't know why you come in. What, you want to change me? Like you try to change the person you dated, that's why you broke up? Yeah. Were well, you trying to control me like like you try to control your kids? That's why they're doing some crazy shit. What you trying to do? Are you doing self-care? You're doing nothing. Are you adapting or are you just moving to escape your misery? I want to tell you tonight, I see through the soul of Satan. And the Satan is the accuser of the brethren, accuser of Florida, accuser of every person who sips their steamed soy milk from Starbucks and they say, you're an elitist. And I say, wait till you see my video tomorrow. It is straight elitist talk. I want to tell everyone out there in upstate New York and Michigan walking barefoot or you're walking with Timberlands on. I want to tell you tonight, I don't want to be friends with people who click the thumbs down. But I will show up every day and overcome them by the grace of God. And when I don't, and when YouTube ends, I'll do something else because I adapt, okay? I don't tap dance for the psychopath who refuses to adapt and wants to be entertained by me because I'm not your son. I'm not your dater. I'm not, I'm, hey, I'm just a rich elitist that you love, but sometimes people hate too. But I want to tell you this, guys, you don't become LeBron James without haters. You're not going to be Michael Jordan without haters. You're not going to be the greatest president ever, Joe Biden, 
without haters. Hey, guys, you know, when you Joe Biden, you got a lot of people hating on you. What can I do? I'm just trying to do the best I can. Okay, let's stay positive tonight. Right, let's go back to life. <laughs> uh, Aaron, hey, guys. Aaron, great to see you. Pago, hey, Aaron. Aaron, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you, Aaron. Pago, I hit the thumbs up with my bare toe. All right, now, watch out for those bunions. Aaron, hey, Pat. Aaron, did it have, yeah, calluses laughing. Brandon, what's up, brother? Losing that psychopath. I want to tell you, the psychopaths hold on only so long. Why? They don't have enough self-care to endure. Guys, you know who, who finishes the race? Those who endure. You know what happens to the psychopaths? They get locked up, they quit their job, or they get evicted. That's right. So I want to tell you this, guys, okay? Those who endure to the end shall, guys, overcome. So everyone else, guys, they're going to get served their notice. That's right. I ain't lying about that. Uh, where are we at? Twist up. What's up, brother? Back go. I have boondocking feet. Well, I want to tell you this. I got Rich Aaliyah's feet. I put lotion on them every night. Twist up. Excited for a topic tonight. Wait till you see the video tomorrow. Aaron, and now, yeah, you shit silver ESP. I'm going to inspire ESP to make a new video tomorrow where she takes her self-made tea contraption and throws it out the window. And she says, you know what? I'm trying to act like I'm enjoying this dollar tea over here, making my own tea. But you know what I really want to do? I want to take my rich ass to Starbucks, to Dairy Queen. And I don't want to make nothing. I want to pay for the best. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Twist a fire emoji. Yes. Denise fire walking. Good job. Paco. I shit like cow blueberries. All right, Paco. We're not mad. Shoot blueberry emoji to you. Aaron laughing. Gross. I agree with that. One flying solo. So true, Sam. When I started running, it was only to improve myself. Remember, don't be scared to walk. Running hurts your knees over time. Now, all my coworkers go for walks at lunch. Good. I guess inspired them. People always watching. Good job, one fine solo. Paco laughing four times. Good. Aaron. She can hit Dairy Queen and Starbucks and throw it all out the window. Hey, guys. I want to tell you, in a first world country, even the poorest among us throw out food every night. And if you don't believe me, ask, look in the mirror. Don't, 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 don't look to anyone else. I want all 50 people on this live chat and however many watch the replay, I want you to look in the mirror and ask yourself one question. Did you throw out food today? And I could tell you, whether you're poor or rich, 99.9%, I would say 100% threw out food today. Why? Hey, guys, <laughs> that's how we do in the first world country. So, you know, don't, don't, you know, don't go cry on me a river. Don't, you know, you're not Justin Timberlake. ESP's laughing good. Yeah, throw that key kettle out the window. Cartoon Mark, fat chick with backpack is watching us. I want to tell you, if she watching, I saw you look over your shoulder, okay, when you came out the, the back seat of your, your car, your mom's car, whatever you're driving, your other big chick friend. And, and when you hit my damn side of my car and my car shake like this, I said, what the fuck going on? Some big chick with a backpack came out of the back seat. And then she hit my car, and I got out of my car because I wonder what the fuck's going on. Okay, get my old shit shook. And I wanted to see what how my how my style looked, see if I got to file a claim. And you know what the big chick did? Look back real quick, and then she saw me, she turned around. I said, how dare her? She didn't even say, like, everything okay? She knew damn well she flew out of that back seat with her backpack already on. She hit my car, and she knew she was going in there to order something with whipped cream. I don't know what Starbucks drink she was going to order, but I have whipped cream, I can almost guarantee you. But she showed no respect to the fact that she just rammed right in the side of my shit. And I said, only the Lord can protect you from big chicks with backpacks. That's right. Because I looked and, and there was no, no damage. I said, the Lord spared me. You know? Yeah. Because I don't know how that happened. Because my whole shit, my whole shit was like this. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm over here doing like work and shit. And all of us, oh shit, Florida got earthquakes. I knew Florida had hurricanes, but I know, I thought we was in California like this. And I look over and some big chick with a backpack. I said, what the fuck? I, I went out of my shit like this. And she over there, 
giggling. Yeah. High off that whipped cream sugar. You know how they get down. Click that thumbs up if you're a big chick with a backpack. Or if you don't like when I have fun. You know it offends some people when you enjoy your life. Yeah, what you doing in there? Why are you laughing? Yeah, just like that. You know I got to just like this. Wait till you see my video tomorrow. Hey, you know I got 27.7 subs right now? Yeah. Hey, guys. Some people don't want to see you happy. And what do I tell you? Hey, guys, I make videos when I cry. I make videos about the empathy of the Lord. But if all I do is make some sad ass videos, then something wrong with me. So if I can't enjoy my life, I don't have, guys, I'm that person. I got one backpack. Okay. I got one car for five years. Okay. And wait till you see my video tomorrow. You're going to like it. And if, if I can't enjoy my life, I don't give a fuck what you like. I mean, I don't know what you want from me. Why are you watching me? Why someone watching me? All right. Let's take a pause. Uh, I go. I want to see Cartoon Mark draw a Cartoon Mark. Bottom line is draw a big chick with a backpack. Okay, jumping into the side of, of someone's car, my car. Let's just say my car, and me like, what the fuck? Yeah, like that. I give you twenty dollars for that shit. Put your PayPal link in all your video descriptions, man. Why? Hey, I want to tell you, take the time to draw a big chick with a backpack. You should be compensated, man. Well, you can't be doing charity all the time. I tell you, man, these people, everybody want everything for free, man. Yeah, see? Unfortunately, yes. Through, yes! Throughout part of my breakfast this morning, I want to tell you. Everyone's throwing out food, guys. No one cares. Because they're laughing good. Your fire emoji. Paco's laughing good. All right, guys, where we at? 36 minutes I've been on here? And you know there's a YouTuber somewhere saying, oh, I'm going to upload a video tomorrow. Oh, guys, I took a break from YouTube. <laughs> I was doing this. I was doing that. I want to tell you, Twister's laughing good. Laughter is good for the soul. If I made you laugh, if I informed you, if I motivated you, if I inspired you, even if I slurred my speech, even if everything I did wasn't perfect, I did more than most people will do, which is show up consistently and not buy anything and adapt. And I don't care who don't like it because I'm thankful for the people that do like it. And if no one likes it, I don't fear it because I just have to adapt and do something else. And what I can tell you in this world, which is very temporary, make the most of it in a positive, healthy way. And remember, if you're going to be LeBron James, there's going to be some out of shape person with a backpack, man, woman, and transgender. They paid money just to complain. And you know what you do? You go right to the hole. You score, you win a championship, and you get interviewed after the game. And you, you are asked, how did you overcome the crowd? And you say, man, I just showed up and went to the hole hard. And some people can't take that. Why? Because their life, they're spectators of their own life. They don't want to lace up the, the, the sneakers. Of the, they don't want to go outside and walk in the winter. Yeah. And then they're jealous when you're in the South Florida in the winter. Did it? They, 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 they didn't see the years that you fucking walked in the winter. Okay. They didn't see that. Okay. And so you know what I say? I don't care what you see, what you like. Give me every Florida emoji you got. Okay. And all the people out there that hate, give me every thumbs down you got. Because I want to tell you like this, YouTube don't recommend based on thumbs up. They do most of the recommendation based on consistency. Okay. And you're over there waiting for somebody thumbs up and YouTube's waiting for you to show up. And if you treat your life like that, you're going to go a lot farther than you think. Okay. But when you sit around and you're waiting for someone else to do something else, you're going to go a lot lower than you think. <laughs> and as the sweat drips down off my face onto my chest, and your out of shape wife with a backpack wants to get with me, looking at me, greasing me up. And some of you gay guys want to get with me. I support equal rights, but I saw some of the comments. And so I actually had some lesbian chick talking about some. Nah, I don't want to get with you. Why? Well, you're not in the dick. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know who I'm talking about. You. 
And if I'm not talking about you, don't worry. Because I have some good lesbian viewers. Daddy Geek, few others. So, but you know damn well, okay, that I made you think twice about the D. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, if I didn't do nothing but make you think twice about the D, then at least I deserve a thumbs up. But really, I'm not entitled to it. Why? Because, guys, in this world, if you get a compliment, it's a blessing from the Lord. And if you don't, you better learn how to encourage yourself because that's the word of the Lord. Twist, I love you, brother. Never date someone you work with from Dunkin' Donuts. Never forget it. Thank you, Brandon. Tropical man in the house. You guys loaded that live cheat. You guys are putting in work, man. Loaded that live feed. Paco, Twister, Aaron. A lot of good emojis. Paco, Twister, Brandon. Paya, don't chase the D. Don't chase the D. Don't chase the P. Don't chase the house. Don't chase the RV. Don't chase waterfalls. Do nothing with regards to consuming until you have learned to overcome through adaptation and self-care. If you avoid adapting and self-care and you buy everything instead of doing nothing, you're going to be misled. You're going to end up in one car that's got car problems. You're going to buy another car for $5,000 got more car problems. Juicy Jeff. Any car that's $5,000 or less is a piece of shit. Okay. I want to tell you guys, if you buy any car that's under $10,000, you're basically playing Russian roulette with your money. Okay. So if you have to, do what you got to do. But if you don't have to, don't go buy no piece of shit. Because you work too hard. To throw away your money on that. Now, if you got no choice, I wrote a hoopty before. Never forget it. Aaron, don't chase the mice either. <laughs> we pray for Aaron. She got mice infestation. Hey, Aaron, I know there was more than one, right? I tell you, when I when I in my house I grew up with, we had a mice infestation at one point. And one thing I learned: if there's one mouse, there's more than one. Now there may be an exception. But I want to tell you this, it's like if there's a big chick with a backpack, there's someone got someone got some body damage on their car. Okay. That's all I know. Because where does because I want to tell you, let's stay positive. Let's stay positive. So, Pago, Aaron, let the mice chase you. Yep. Yeah, Aaron, you're six so far. You're right. I, I'm sorry I was right. This is my experience. All right, guys and girls, I'm exhausted. That's how you should be at the end of the day, exhausted. If you got nervous energy, you didn't wake up on time, you took a nap, and you weren't productive, and you're looking to buy something to overcompensate. Hey, guys, look, I'm exhausted. Okay, And that's how you should be at the end of the day. Why? Because that means you're in a healthy sleep cycle where you go to bed, and then you wake up early, and you do it again. Get the most out of your life. And if you're not going to get the most out of your life, guys, I don't know, man. It's like... There's psychopaths that buy toothpaste and they want to get the most out of like a $1.99 toothpaste. But when it comes to their priceless, you know, one of a kind life, one of a kind body with their fingerprint, they treat it like fucking just like extra food at the end of the dinner. Just fucking throw it out. Like, you know, hey, look, look, if, if you waste time in your life, you treat your life like a, a an aborted fetus. Fucking throw it out. And so, hey, guys, look. That's up to you. Yeah, I'm not mad at you. I understand life. I understand how hard it is. But I got I to push forward as best I can. Brandon, poison him. Well, just be, you know, uh, well, I, I mean, I would say I'm anti-poison, but I, I did sticky traps with peanut butter at the end, and then I threw them in a plastic bag. I threw them in a dumpster. Uh, but it's like, you know, like cockroaches. Yeah, you you got to give, you know, well, sticky traps work for me, but I had a cockroach problem one time. Yeah, you give them like the poison that they come through the little thing, they eat it, and then they take it back to their young and it kills their young. Because basically, when you see a, a mouse or a cockroach, they breed it because they got a whole family there. They found a way in, they found food, and they made a nest and they moved in. Uh, and you know, they multiplied. Uh, Aaron, thanks, Brandon. Denise, rest up, Sam. Thank you. Thanks for your hilarious don't. Yeah, uh, don't you want you? Don't you wish your husband was hot like me? 
don't you? I want to tell you, Denise, wait till you see the video tomorrow, Denise. Okay. You say, Sam, undersell and over deliver. Guys, I'm going to oversell and over deliver on tomorrow's video. Why? Because that's how I feel tonight. <laughs> and I love you, Denise. I love you, Aaron. I love you, Brandon. I love you, Twister. Love you, Pat Go. Love you, ESP. Cartoon Mark. David Lopez, one flying solo. Michelle. Cal, return of heaven. Did you see that girl from the movie Flashdance? She still looks good. Damn. I'll tell you right now. Huh, let me find a MILF like that. Uh, but will I date her? Uh, guys, I'm single for life. Never forget it. Denise, thumbs up. Thank you. Brandon, can't wait to see the fire tomorrow. Well, call your conservative accountant. Why? Because we're we about to go to another revenue stream. Now, if you go to H&R Block, guys, remember... The h &R Block accountant was mowing lawns last week. Okay, They only do that for two months out of the year. You need a CPA. Okay, You need a CPA. Never forget it. Uh, good night, ESP. Brennan, blessings. I'll see you guys and girls in tomorrow morning's video. Until then, may the Lord be with you. May Elon Musk keep your batteries charged. May all the people who gave up on the D believe that maybe there's some D out there for you. May you never chase the P. May you never chase a house, chase a car. Let it all come to you. The only thing you need to move to is self-care. When you move to self-care and you show up at your responsibilities, everything else addeth on to you. Because you're putting the Lord first when you take care of yourself and your responsibilities. That's right. And when you don't do that, guys, good luck renovating because that's all you got. Shout out to Home Depot and the lock washers on aisle three. <gasps> Keith B is still with us. I thought we lost him. Love and appreciation to the one man in Indiana who said, I will be in South Florida. I will not rest until I fulfilled my destiny. And Keith's destiny is to sweat in the winter, to see bikinis in the winter, to retire after over 30 years in the workforce while he's still got two good knees and good hips, and to do like this. Don't you wish your FedEx guy was hot like me? Don't you? <clears throat> I want to tell you tonight, there's a shortage of drivers. But don't expect Keith, who worked over 30 years, to come back in the workforce. Because he's now going to live life on his terms. It is the great resignation of our time. Christina's in the building. Christina, I love you. Another person from Indiana. Shout out to you, Christina. Shout out to you, Keith B. May the Spirit of the Lord be with you. Okay. And may you do the best you can with what you have. And stop looking for your hope and your inspiration in others. It's time to go for a walk and look for it within yourself. Because remember, everyone you're looking up to to encourage you is depressed. Remember that everyone you think who will change your life is struggling with life. Remember, every house that you obsess over, someone wants to sell. Why? Remember, every used car that's $5,000 is basically fucking scrap metal. Okay, that's the price you get if you scrap that shit. Okay. <laughs> Don't buy no $5,000 car unless you got no choice. Pack go. Hoosiers are in the house. You know what it is, Indiana Strong. All right, guys, I'm a dolphin. Okay. I'm a Miami dolphin, guys. And I'm about to go and swim in the all-night gym membership shower. Damn it, Jack Burst, a.k.a. Joe Biden's one forgotten son. 199, he's got that home equity. Stop chasing the coach. You know what it is. I want to tell you, when you sit in the house, 
that's worth $800,000 and you only owe $300,000, you know what you do? You do whatever the fuck you want, man. Okay? You know what I do? I said, guys, wait till you see what I do on tomorrow morning video. Okay? I'll see you. Thank you.